consciousness points of state objection negotiation that's exactly where the collective consciousness is at at this point of time at one end the collective consciousness is at a point where your core consciousness is revealing to you that they could thrive on taking advantage of you they could really use you and take from your energy drain your energy because it was your anger it was your grudge which was allowing them to do that while there's a simultaneous conflict that is happening where the collective points of state negotiation is occurring and it is the objection itself that is coming up with the conversation with the inner anger so your inner anger is solidified in a state of wrath your inner anger is in a state of bitterness that why was the state of anger the consciousness of anger even allowing the negotiation to occur where they could thrive on this energy and that is the objection that is coming from another aspect of you within that is getting integrated at this point in the collective consciousness and this video is going to be a deep dive with that aspect of consciousness and we are going to quantum integrate this and shift this trajectory and bring in alignment with this point of jittery so the point of jittery is that they could thrive on our energy because of the anger in us so we felt the anger in us we felt the rage in us we felt the frustration in us and the point of frustration the point of anger the point of jittery was giving them the power to take was giving them the power to use us was giving them the power to take advantage of us but at the same time the very information that this was happening is also bringing up anger is also bringing up rage and this anger and rage this wrath is so much that the collective is finding difficulty to channelize the rage in a harmonious way and this rage is leaking to create a war syndrome in the collective consciousness which of course is getting reflected on a broader spectrum because as within so without and it is the consciousness and nothing outside is out of our consciousness so the wars that we are experiencing is but a direct reflection of this energy leakage that's occurring in our consciousness in that point of wrath so every time we feel rage the force that infiltrates in lives in a consciousness of fear tries to tap into the consciousness and plays with it this is also a lot how narcissistic function this is also a lot how people who want to just manipulate and take advantage with sociopaths psychopaths function and this is exactly how on a broader spectrum the energy of rage the energy of frustration the energy of anger is leaking out the energy to create war trials and tribulations on the collective spectrum the 
solution definitely is to move to a different emotion but it is not by bypassing the emotion and changing the frequency to another state altogether but it's definitely by integrating and sitting with this energy we will find a solution to it so let's dive into it and find out what this consciousness has to inform us and then let's integrate this so quantum integration therapy so at the core of wrath of that the fact that they are taking advantage and they can thrive on your energy in the point where you feel angry is already such a aggravating information is already going to bring up so much more anger and it's definitely going to come from that why they could not have the mercy why they could not sign up to be on the same page as yours why they could not choose harmony why they were choosing disharmony why they could not choose the same path as yours why they could not align from the same consciousness as yours so wherever that rage is all of those rage and all of those aspects where the epitome of anger was shuffling in all of those layers are coming to the state of awareness right now in us that they were unable to do so because they are in different levels of their consciousness and based on where they are based on where their awareness is based on their fear based on the reciprocation they have that was the best that they could do so you may have come across videos of celebrities where maybe some celebrity has said something that childish and that something stupid you could say um that has become a big story and people are talking about it and that's just the hype right now and after a while that hype that trend goes away and some other trend comes in but there are group of people who just hold on to that trend will go deeper in that trend will try to just make that trend go bitter just bring out all their wrath through that trend just talk about it to just bring out the wrath say nepotism so people who be hate for um, thinking like okay they are just products of nepotism and they're so dumb and they're just talking about so and so things but that is just one topic and we've talked about it the topic has ended and there is another topic coming in but there are people who suppose get so triggered with this information would just bring out all their anger about nepotism will bring out all the negative evidences about it and will continue to promote more hatred about this particular topic in itself and that's just one example of how this hatred this anger this rage qualifies to become this kind of energy where we start to take from another person by provoking more anger or invoking more anger in us so for example there this war going on right now it's on an example it's a real truth so there are wars going on right now and instead of talking about harmony and peace we end up completely researching about wars and how this war 
is going on and why this war is so blistering and how these people are so horrific we suppose take a side and literally try, try to demean the other side bring out all the hatred that we have towards the other side so for example you are on the side of palestine and you are bringing out all the hatred towards israel or you're on the side of israel and you're taking out all the hatred towards palestine and you're just in in that energy of bringing in all the possible hatred and you're looking for every possible evidences to just prove the other party is wrong and all the energy is channelized just to prove that just to take out that hatred just by hating a cause by just hating somebody by bringing out that protestant energy by bringing out that rage getting into that energy of being so provoked by that energy of hatred that we continue to hate and promote that energy and bring in that rebellious energy and continue to just send hate to that particular energy and this is leakage of consciousness so when the leakage of consciousness is happening so in this example also most people are hating palestine and we all know what's happening in israel what they are really doing but they have more supporters unfortunately or fortunately i don't know but compared to the palestines and that's also because the hatred we are having towards israel that they're doing this they're doing that and that leakage of energy that is there that leakage is giving them more power to hold more wrath and take out more anger so we are hating them and we have the leakage of energy and that leakage of energy is giving them the power to take out further more wrath and this energy is further pushing out the wrath on others and it's a vicious cycle that's going on in the collective consciousness and if we talk about what's going on in the spiritual realm as within so without and as above so below so it's happening everywhere in every industry you name it you will see it i i just gave you the industry example of movie industries where nepotism and all of that is prevalent then i just gave you the example with wars now coming to the example with the consciousness so with the divine feminine energy there has been hatred with her energy they have hated her they have tried to subjugate her they have tried to shut her down they have tried to take from her energy they have used her they have tried to censor her they have tried to sideline her they have tried to copy her energy and all of that so now they are doing it out of their jealousy out of their rage out of feeling like oh why is she so talented why why she's having so much of remembrance energy why does she remember she needs to forget why does she have an opinion why is she not just being just like any other person saying the same things that every other person sees so this energy naturally caused a lot of rage in the divine feminine right so the rage in the divine feminine continue to give them power so the more they made it difficult for her by taking out her anger the more she got angry the more she felt rageful and the more she felt rageful with that energy they started to infiltrate in the consciousness hijack in the consciousness play with her energy play with the consciousness energy 
affect the collective portal because she is the portal and she her energy directly affects the collective consciousness energy so a way to directly infiltrate the collective consciousness energy was to infiltrate this energy and this is but another example and the solution is that realizing that the root core cause of all of these happening is that so someone has to stop and realize at the core that okay this anger is giving out this energy and the solution therefore is non violence ahimsa gandhi ji has got it right like it was a go and non violence definitely is the solution and the part of you that is enraged right now even listening to this even hearing this i kid you not we're giving power to them <laughs> so going to your heart space wherever you have this rageful wrath look at the wrath and see where do you feel it in your chest space how does that anger look like how is that texture and where is it exactly located once you have located it now let's just go and love it and hug it and give it warmth so as we give warmth to this anger and as we go and love that place where it's rageful the layer that's coming up is it is of better they could have done better we expected them to do better so we going to apply the theory of law of expectancy here we're going to just expect that they are understanding better we're going to expect that they are so realizing so we're going to apply manifestation here and pretend a bit so the advantage of pretending is that you will feel good your nervous system will feel more regulated and your anger is going to feel a little more reduced so let's just pretend just for the sake of coming down the anger here so wherever you're feeling enraged that's because things should have been better they should have realized you deserved better so they are realizing now and things have always been so much better and they have realized all along and right now is the time for divine justice divine miracle divine mercy and they are all so realizing it all completely now they regret what they have done they really really feeling bad and they are being so loving caring and kind right now they being really really loving they really being nurturing they really choosing to negotiate and this state objection negotiation is integrating now because they realizing now that we deserve so much better in the point of coercion where we feel angry we are realizing now they are so choosing things to get better and we are choosing it to play with it to feel good about it and feel a sense of expansion and wholeness and serendipity at the core consciousness in our heart space over here in this energy and it doesn't matter whether it's happening in the physical reality or not and it definitely is because everything is the consciousness but beyond that and also expecting it because expectations get faster and easier results integrating that awareness and information for the more 
we are expecting that this is surely affecting the consciousness of the collective and all the more choosing that as we feel the satisfaction that they are definitely realizing their mistake who oh, they are it's definitely working this is in a conversation and they are now regretting it and all the energy that was taken all the power that was taken all the finances all the happiness all the joy all that goodness that they infiltrated in everything is coming back you are being compensated everything that they tried to hijack everything that was yours and was taken you're getting it all back you're receiving it all back with grace like a bitch and it's good to be a bitch sometimes like a savage bitch like a queen you're just pulling your energy back without having to do anything just by some commands and not having to make fancy videos even just through some commands just through the weaving game of consciousness we are calling back the energy she's being the teacher of consciousness truly of the consciousness for the consciousness and from the consciousness and from the weaving essence of consciousness she's now pulling back all that is hers and she feels so rejuvenated to do this and she feels so expanded to do this and this expansion as is touching the cells that were angry they are feeling soothed because the reason of the anger has been released and finally the enemy has got no power and has given back what was duly ours and we could recover back everything that was once lost and it's the day the season the years ahead and the beginning year of compensation of the compensation and the intensity at which the rage was making them thrive and utilize our energy and captivate us and thrive in our energy field and make us enmeshed in confusion all of that patterns are breaking now and all of the ways they wronged us all the rage that's getting created for that in that rage with the intensity of rage you choosing that with that force in that intensity the sensation is tilting and moving to create that space to hold in more energy and call in the weaving essence to call in all the energy that was lost and hold space within to create that space to let back in all the energy that was duly ours and they giving it out of joy out of rage and just as the loop their rage is now letting us thrive and now definitely they are realizing that the better way is harmonic presence because manipulators just know it the sneaky vibe just give them the assurance and now aligning in this awareness they are definitely negotiating to integrate this objection state point and are realizing that they should have done better they should have sought it from the source and they are being so kind now they are being so loving now they are being so nurturing now but they are bringing our greatest fans 
They're giving back all that they took from us. They're giving back all that they usurped from us. And we're calling back all our energy that is dutifully ours. And we can retrieve back each strand of the energy that is dutifully ours. Each strand of energy, each sensation of energy, each power, each momentum, the serendipity of joy is being retrieved back to us and we are retrieving back pulling back all the energy that was duly ours. And we are releasing what was not ours because we don't have a habit of holding it like them. That's their call. So just releasing it happily because it's not just a thing with the savage queens. And they are just feeling all the more and giving us back the energy because they're just feeling all the more uh, uh, cringy. Uh, okay, uh, mm, I don't know what to do, sort of. And they're giving us back the energy because no transmission, no message has been ever so directed and direct on the consciousness. And she rise like the savage bitch. And she loves to be called that. And there's no harm in it. What's so wrong? And after all, being a bitch, she's not manipulating. She's just calling back. What's duly hers and her divine birthright. And that's just how we just integrated this aspect. And we're calling back everything that was ours and the point of anger and rage has now shifted and from the core each time just about to lose temper and get triggered we'll just remember that uh -oh, it's time to call the energy back and feel that at this intensity they're just giving back the energy that they were just planning to take at this intensity the infiltration in consciousness they were just planning to make, they are moving that farther away and forgetting what they were trying to do and letting this be at ease and peace because it was supposed to be that way. We were designed to have our personal life and individual consciousness and choices and flow and enjoy life and harmonically live together, connect to one another, share our individual perspective and come together. But unfortunately, it had become so infiltrated and everybody started to speak one language. There was a war of consciousness and it was just a lack of awareness. And from awareness, we are now aligning back to our original blueprint of how human beings were designed and structured to come together and live in collaborative harmony. And we are releasing what no longer serves us. And they are definitely giving us back what was ours. Every time you're worried and tensed and triggered and pissed about what they did, we remember that at that intensity, they're just giving back what they took at that intensity things are revising and things are aligning and things have always been perfect and whatever we could not see in all of those places also we can see where they're just giving back all our energy and just aligning everything in our favor and at the intensity it didn't work out at that intensity they are making it work out for us and they are just creating that pathway to ensure that they go to every possible extent to make it work for us because we deserve it. And they are realizing that they should have treated us better instead of they did this, they did that, they infiltrated the consciousness, they brought the anger in us. We've just shifted now and integrated to the awareness that oh they are our biggest fans and they're just giving back us what was duly us they're aligning everything in our favor they are just 
manifesting in our favor even and they are definitely giving us back what they took from us they cannot infiltrate in our consciousness but they can only contribute to more of our greatness and happiness and they are giving back all that energy that they took from us it's strand of energy that they took from us and they are completely returning us back what was ours and they're completely restoring this joy and happiness for us and it is so done thus it shall be amen